Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play Fantasy Star 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In the last episode, we were going to get the Eclipse Torch from the Gumbius Temple, only to find out it's been stolen. Now we had to go to the Air Castle to deal with someone that Rue knew while he was first generation Lutz, Lashiek. But I decided, you know what, let's explore the weapons facility southwest of Jut first. And as a result, we did find ourselves a new weapon for Ren, the Burst Rocket. This should actually come in handy, despite the fact he can only use it once at his current level. But, we haven't finished exploring this place yet. So why don't we go do that, and then we can get out of here, and then deal with the Air Castle. Provided we've already done our shopping for new equipment. Because we haven't finished that yet, either. Oh, Jazz leveled up. Good. Every little bit goes a long way. Yeah, Kyra took some damage, but she'll be alright. She seems to be holding her own, which I highly appreciate. Okay, oh, okay. I thought I had attack Rue twice. I was like, that would have highly disappointed me. Um, let's try the high jammer here. I figure that would not hurt. Alright, you use a Geesar. Heh, <laughs> Geesar, it almost sounds like guitar. Ah, oh, Rune's dead. It was bound to happen. Ah, it did not work on any of them, wow. Ah, oh, that sucks. I guess we gotta find a way to get Rune back. Figured you'd be the one for the job. Provided you don't die, too. Wow, these guys have very good dexterity. They've been able to dodge a good half of our attacks. Alright, we'll just go on an attack macro here. Oh, Twin Claw. I didn't know they had that. Okay, we gotta go on a massive heal break here. We totally got destroyed. Again, I don't think we're even supposed to be here. This is probably just an optional area. It's, they said you can leave this place alone and nothing would go wrong with Dizalis. So the only reason you would come here is for new equipment. Which is not bad if you need a little side area. Okay, maybe we should like destroy this first. Like everybody focus on this. Because you can't have two arthropods combined. There, that was a smart thing to do. Let's keep going. This this little hallway is a bit large. And I see some chests. I would like to get them. Hopefully I can. Wow, this guy's got good agility to keep going before us. Not to mention a good majority of our attacks keep missing. Follow this line. We didn't get very far, unfortunately. Um, yeah, you better off sparking this one. I have a feeling we're just going to miss the Sil Vault if we tried to attack it. Let's just hope for the best here. Oh, Flash. There we go, we can serve some TP in the process, and Kyra leveled up! Every time you level up! I think that's the first time you leveled up since we got ya! Okay, there's a lift system, that's nice. We can definitely take advantage of that. Oh, we can only go one way, alright. Fair enough. Now let's go take those suckers out. Pretty much the only way we know how. Wow! You, you still have one of those Thunderclaws equipped, don't you, Rika? That might explain why you did a ton of damage to those sweepers. We definitely need to heal up again. 
I'm gonna let Kyra be our healer. Let's see what's beyond here. Oh, that's already been opened. That sucks. I would have liked to see what was in there. But I guess the world will never know. It's just like knowing the center of a Tootsie Pop. Well, how many licks it takes. I mean, we already know what's the center of a Tootsie Pop. It's a Tootsie Roll. Well, I don't know if you can call it a Tootsie Roll, but shaped like a circle. So tootsie Rolls are usually cylindrical. It's just like a mound of Tootsie. That's all it is. El elastic gear? Uh, is that what it's called? Like, elastic? Headgear? Oh, elasticity. Yeah, it is elastic gear. So this must be ran equipment here. Okay, that increases defense only by four. Well, it's a helmet, so... And elastic armor. Ooh, that actually makes him so much better. Repair kit. Repair kit. Okay. Apparently, you can get unlimited repair kits here. Let me use one of them because, you know, we don't want to have too many. But apparently, if you want some repair kits, just come over here. And they'll just keep giving them to you. That's pretty neat! So if you're worried about repair kits, just keep coming to this spot. We can take advantage of that if we so choose. Yeah, that's a wise idea. Alright, let's check out the other side. Might be a good idea. In other words, we gotta take those lifts back. So, we got the left side, now let's go to the right. Oh, and Ren leveled up in this battle too, that's great. Let's take a look at his, uh, abilities, or skills. Okay, he can use Flare one extra time, that's good. But he can still only use the Burst Rocket once, that's unfortunate. Alright, so finally go down now. Well, we gotta go down twice. Oh, Rika leveled up in this fight too. That's really awesome. Alright, Kyra, you gotta heal us. Well, I actually use a key res on Chaz. He's a little worse for wear. Rika is the same way. You're fine, you can just use a regular one. Okay, we're almost done with this place. Again, this is an optional area, so we'll be fine. Yeah, that should be good. We don't need to worry about using our attacks here. These guys practically don't stand a chance. Oh, Rika. That miss was bad. Oh, but Kyra got you back. Okay, now let's see what's in this floor. Oh, there's another item. I would like to get it! But it's good! I guess we'll find out soon enough! Ouch! Oh, thank god, Rune only got targeted once. Yeah, you're coming along just fine as a replacement, Alice Kyra. You're doing a good job. Plasma Launcher! Okay, there's a new Ren weapon. A large particle gun. Okay, I imagine it can only target, like, one enemy. Wait. Oh, that's right, I wasn't even selecting it. That's why, I'm an idiot. Yeah, Plasma Launcher, I believe, can only target one. Alright, that's good enough for me. Anything with that much attack power is bound to only target one. Okay, I guess we can get out of here now. Alright, we'll head back to Jut. You can actually go back to the Gumbius Temple if you want to, because it's a non-hostile area. And now, let's do our bit of shopping, because we got a ton of Masita out of that. And we're bound to get a ton more once we sell some of the excess crap. 
Because you know, Ren's got some old equipment that he don't need anymore. How's Rika doing? A lack of claw? Well, I guess we can just put the Silver Tusk in on instead of the Thunder Claw once we get to the Air Castle. I have a feeling we're going to be fighting some demons there. That'll be a good idea. So definitely don't sell the Silver Tusk. Alright, well, this is all crap. This can go. Definitely want to keep the Pulse Vulcan, though. And you know what? Let's get rid of the Napalm Shot. Because we got another single target weapon that's good enough. Uh, let's see. Do I have any... Yeah, Antidotes I can get rid of, too. And Cure Paralysis. Get rid of this Dynamite as well. I'm not going to be using it. It's just an offensive item. I never use offensive items. I just never did. Now I can try to get some Reflect Mail. That's gonna be like an Order of Attrition right there. In fact, I can only buy one. It sucks. Oh, this would've been so good to have like a second one right now. Why does mail have to be so expensive? Yes, I know, it's good, but come on. Work with me here. Uh, I think I can do with one less teammate. Yeah, that's good. We'll keep the Pulse Vulcan and we want to, like, target multiple enemies. Are you sure there was, like, no other weapon I could have wanted? Well, if I wanted to optimize my attack, I could use, like, a second Lacko Claw. But I'm gonna keep it, like, with a Silver Tusk. So we're just gonna mix and match. That'll be a good idea. Alright, let's go to the inn and rest. Well, actually, instead of, like, resting here... If we're gonna need to go to the Landale, we're better off, like, resting over at Tyler. Because then we're closer to the Space Hangar. Actually, we don't even need the inn. We just use the Spaceport to recover. Well then, let's go ahead and search for the air castle. I'm getting something. Although very slight, it is definitely something. Can you get it on the screen? I will try. That's it! That's the air castle, alright. It has a spooky atmosphere. Ooh. Are you getting a little scared? Huh, Chaz? Don't... Don't be ridiculous. We're going in. Uh, I don't want to go anywhere yet. I want to use the spaceport. But otherwise, Chaz would only have like 30 TP in this place. Is that what you want? Wow, it's actually pretty close to the sun. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to, like, uh, go through a lot of the air castle. In fact, I'm going to try to get as much money as possible before we can get that other reflect mail for Rika. And then we'll try to commit to that place. So, I can do a much exploration to optional areas. Once I know what they are. And then we can try to finish the main part of air castle. Gravity is normal, and there is a breathable atmosphere. This is clearly an artificial condition. They seem to be expecting us, huh? Okay, well, at least you know you're not stuck here. That's good to know. Alright, is there like more than one entrance into the castle? I'm just gonna explore this entire outer area. Well, at least that's the good music again. I heard this was actually an arranged track for Fantasy Star 1 dungeon theme. That's actually pretty interesting. It's like all those, those little things that they keep true to the other games in the series. There's always a lot of references. Okay, I'm feeling you can't cross that. That looks like some kind of abyss. Oh, those guys. 
It's the rascals that stole the Eclipse Torch! They're illusions? It's not just any illusion. There's an invisible barrier. So that means we gotta find the real thing and defeat them! Oh god, we have to defeat like three bosses in order to get through the main chamber? Okay, those things are definitely demons. Or dark enemies. Stone heads! <laughs> those actually look pretty cool and very menacing. I like them. Let's see if they're weak against water here. How do they decide which head they want to attack you with? Okay, the left head will just try to eat you, and the other one will just cast magic. Alright. Alright, let's get you well upfitted, Rika. I'm gonna put on the Thunderclaw instead. I'm gonna check out the left wing before, you know, just for a little bit. Oh! This was a dead end the whole time. Wait, Dimension Worm? Okay. It looks like a cervix dilating. That's creepy. That is sketchy as hell. Why don't you use an air slash to try to attack them? Looks like you're gonna have to use magic here. No, actually, you can just attack at both of them. You'll have to use magic. Oh yeah, that does considerably more damage. What? That did one? Okay, they're weak against magic. Physical attacks they have a resistance to. So this was a dead end the whole time. No secrets of any kind. Alright. It was pointless to go here, then. Oh, here's a new enemy. It's a Frost Saber and a Blade Right. Well, on the plus side, we got a surprise attack against them. So we can use that to our advantage. Just use melee attacks. We can serve our TP unless we absolutely have to use it. Yeah, I don't really think we need our TP for just one enemy. That's just gonna power up his defense anyway. Okay, I think this is the way we gotta go. Oh, here's another new enemy, Spectre! Hey, Ren, would your flare actually work against them? I don't know why I'm talking to you like you're a real person, but I guess I'm just good at role-playing. Then we'll just use Sue. And... I think Rune will be okay. Oh! Apparently these things are pretty weak. But then again, Rika was using, like, a light elemental weapon anyway. It's kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, where they're strong against magic... Like, they're strong against regular attacks, but if you have, like, a magic weapon or anything with silver... That actually does the job. This is pretty much the case here. Alright, so, let's go. Uh, do I go right or down? Well, I guess that answers that question. Like, we can just go over here to, like, the, uh, checkerboard. Alright, so, these guys are pretty much gonna be small business. We got this under control in a big way. Jazz leveled up. Awesome. And so did Rune. And they're an if like FS. Oh, I heard this is a very good skill. No, I, th I don't want to save. No, I don't want to save. I'm pressing the wrong button. Like FS is actually like a light elemental attack. And we got a thousand Mesita. And I heard it can be, be combined with a certain skill to make a combo. I'm trying to think. I think it's Rayblade? I'm not 100% sure. Either way, it's going to be pretty good. It's just too bad we'd be able to use it like very little amounts of times. So we'll just have to save it for like a special moment. Alright, let's continue on here. I think we... Yeah, I think Chaz needs to heal. And 
And so does Kyra, yep. Oh, Rika definitely needs to heal. I just noticed how low her HP was compared to the max. Okay, the encounter rate is getting a little ridiculous here. I just know we never really moved that far. And we're still getting battles after battles. It looks like Rika needs to heal again. Oh good, we got him binded, even though it doesn't really matter. He already had his turn. Would've been nice if you could bind the enemy that hasn't moved yet. Okay, one of those sorcerers definitely gotta be around this way. Oh, now we're on the back of the castle. Okay, it looks like we can go back in if we want to. It looks like you don't have battles when you're outside. It's only when you're inside the castle that you start fighting. That's pretty interesting. They have that kind of mechanic set up. Let me go this way. Hello? Oh, it's a trimate. Okay, we got more of those dimension worms, so... Your attacks can focus on the stone heads. And you can pretty much use your magic on the dimension worms. Kyra, I mean Rika, can attack them normally because she has a light elemental attack. Um, you can actually use Gra to defeat the others, I suppose. No, you can actually try to focus on the stone head. And if Rune acts fast enough, he can do the same. Yeah, so any enemies, like dark enemies that are strong against your physical attacks, have Rika take care of them. Like these specters, for instance. He can do. She can take care of them too. Evil Eye? Okay, I don't think that did much. Oh, apparently these specters just have, like, regular, like, resistances. Which is a lack thereof. And Frost Saber should not be a problem either. I think Ren will have an advantage if he used Flare. Yeah, good luck with that little tomahawk attack. Eh, it did decent damage. And Kyra leveled up. Awesome! And learned Warla! Okay, I, it's basically like Divan. That's all it is. Which is cool. Oh, little fun fact if you're wondering about those specters, they have Death Spell. They fail though, but they have it. So be very cautious and hope to God that you're lucky enough to avoid them like I was. Okay, we gotta run into one of those guys soon. We can't be that far off. We're getting closer to at least one of them. I keep wondering, like, the left side had a complete dead end with nothing in there. Does this castle even change form whenever you defeat one of the guys? I hope not. It will make this place so much more confusing to navigate. Or do you have to go this way? 2,000 Meseta, nice. That's, an, that's a dead end for sure. Wait, let's go back outside. Because we can explore, like, the south wing, like, well, pretty much the east wing over here. And there's nothing to explore over here, alright. And something over this way? No. Okay, so we were going the right way the whole time. That was the only way we can go. As long as they're not giving me too many branching paths, I'm okay. I wouldn't say that stuff triggers me, it just annoys me. I don't have many triggers, actually. I don't know, I guess I was just lucky enough to have, like, a smooth sailing kind of life. Some people are not so fortunate, therefore I tried my best to respect them. Well, at least Rika leveled up, which is nice. Oh, we're back outside again. Okay, we gotta run into, like, one of these guys eventually. Or do I have to fight all three of them? Jesus, this this place is massive! 
You know how I was talking about like the dungeons like not being so large? And then you get to this place, which is like, holy crap. If you hate like large spaces, you're definitely gonna hate this place. Because you're constantly, constantly going from point A to point B, and point B is a long ass ways away. Could you imagine this place actually did change form? And you had to go through this place like three different times with completely different layouts every single time. I would not be able to handle it. But it would be very revolutionary for its time to have like a rapidly changing dungeon every time you took out one of the uh, sorcerers or witches. Okay, we definitely need to heal up. I think we all do. Okay, we're fine now. Ah, we're just right above you guys, look! Well, that place had absolutely nothing for us. Wait, do I see one of them? I think I see one of them. I'd say we try to take this guy out and maybe I'll call it an episode. Yeah, huh, good luck trying to get through Ren. He's resistant to, resistant to all your crap. And he leveled up, so he's even stronger. No, that was just a treasure chest. Another try made, oh god. I'm gonna be inventory blocked at this rate. Okay, for a moment there I was thinking, is this a dead end the whole time? Man, this, again, I gotta say it, this place is huge! It just keeps on going! I have a feeling we're gonna be fighting all three of these guys at once. Like, I just know we're not gonna be fighting them. Like, you're gonna be looking for one, and then you gotta go through another place to look for the others. And then you gotta look for the other still. And then you gotta look for the third one. Then you gotta go all the way back to like the first room to fight Lashiek. I don't think they're gonna do that. If we're gonna be fighting them, we gotta fight all three at once. Or, we're gonna fight them one at a time, but they're all gonna be in the same room. That's my theory on all this. Alright, I guess we're gonna be doing our exploring. I guess we can go this way. But again, I want to go everywhere. Okay, there's a lot of big rooms here. I can go in this one. Or I can go in this one. Oh crap, now they're making me choose. That one does not lead to a dead end, I'm pretty sure. What about this one? Okay, that's just treasure. Genocide Claw? Okay. Yeah, you could, you could put that one on instead of the Lacko Claw. I'm good with that. Um, you know what? This video has been going on long enough. I think I'm just going to call it an episode here. So stay tuned for the next part when I continue exploring the Air Castle. How much money do I have? Okay, I can buy that other Reflect Mail. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.